tomorrow night hearing your name called is going to feel emotional um yeah, I, I envisioned a lot, you know, especially when I was a little kid. Um, but, you know, when it comes true tomorrow, I think um, it's going to be a lot different than I ever imagined. So the feeling, and it's probably going to be indescribable, and um, I'm just looking forward to it. How has Syracuse helped you prepare for this moment? Uh, Syracuse has helped me a lot. Um, you know, they prepared me to, to you know, to be a man um, for, uh, you know, in the NBA. They prepared me on, on the court. Uh, how to handle myself as a person. Um, so, you know, they prepare me in uh, every way possible. Do you think you can step in and make an immediate impact in the league? Uh, definitely. You know, I think, you know, I have a lot of confidence in my game. I think I'll be able to, you know, go in, go in there and make other, other, peop other people better and, uh, you know, defend multiple positions. How are you going to sleep on a night like tonight? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep on tonight like this. Mike, you worked out with Detroit. What, was it, what, did you, what kind of feedback did you get from Detroit? What was the experience like? Um, I got, you know, good feedback from Detroit. You know, I had a, a good work out there. And, um, you know, I liked the staff over there. And, you know, it was a great place uh, in a nice area. So, um, yeah, you know, things went real well at Detroit. How much did they talk to you about length? Obviously, they have Brandon Knight there, and if, if you were to come in, he'd move. But you guys would play together, you'd be a longer guy. How much was that something they talked to you guys about, talked to you about, I guess? Uh, you know, they talked about me a little bit. You know, uh, you know, they asked me if I had any questions, and, you know, I asked about it. So, um, you know, they talked about it, and um, I think, you know, we could play together great. Did you play the Phoenix twice? Yeah, I went to Phoenix twice, yeah. yeah. No, I, no, I didn't go see Orlando, no. Um, you know, I, I think I have a knack to, you know, pick up things quickly and, and learn, you know, fast and learn from my mistakes fast. So, um, you know, I, I'm excited. You know, I played man, you know, my whole life besides in those two years in college. So I'm excited for it and um, I can't wait. Yeah, if I get away from the cold. <laughs> Is that one of the things that, that coaches may be focused on during workouts, man-to-man um, -man defense, because you've been playing so much as a home in college? Um, yeah, there was a, some some drills that, you know, when I go, I went against people to, to test my defense, and, you know, I think I did pretty well. When you, when you change roles so much between, between the two years at Syracuse, uh, how much of a learning curve was that? Do you think that maybe helps you for the next step when, when it's going to change again? Um, yeah, you know, I learned a lot from my first year to my second year. Um, you know, I'm sure I'll learn a lot from my rookie year to my sophomore year in the NBA. So, you know, I'm always looking to learn. A million. <laughs> yeah. A lot. Yeah. So. Uh, the, it was the defense, the shooting, and then um. And those questions come up a, a lot, all the time. Um, yeah, those are those are the two main ones, really. I can't even think of a third one, but those are those are the you know those are the main ones. Yeah. Um, as the game becomes more positionless and you know, bigger guys like yourself are able to run the point, bring the ball down the court, what, do you, what advice do you have for younger players as they have to transition to come yeah. future pass? How do they come up and make sure they're successful? Um, I just tell them, you know, to watch a lot, you know, watch, you know, at the next level, just to try to see the speed and, and try to adjust your game, you know, as you watch and go out there and, um, you know, play hard and, you know, always make the, the easy right decision. You know, it doesn't, you don't have to be fancy or, or uh, you know, try to force too much, you know, just make the right play and the right decision and, and things will come to you. If there's one drill that worked out for the young junior high or high school ball players, is there one that particularly you Um... I don't think there's one in particular drill. I think, you know, I think a lot of handling drills and a lot of shooting drills is really important. Who's going to be in the uh, playing room with you? Um, my mom, my dad, my stepmom, my stepfather, and my agent. Michael, have you thought about um, going to a team that already has an established point guard, particularly the Portland Trail Blazers, who have a guy like Damian Lillard who's already in that position? Um, you know, I, I never met with a... I interviewed with Portland. I never went to work out with them, um, you know, just because they have a, a point guard in Damian Leonard. But, you know, if, if I get chosen by them, you know, it's not something I can do. It's not the particular place where, you know, I choose to go. But, you know, I go there and, and make the best of it and, you know, you know, and then see what happens when, you know, my, my time is up there. How many teams did you actually visit and work out with? Uh, seven. I went to Phoenix twice. So How many did eight. you interview with? Um, well, I was just talking about. I didn't go to Portland. I was talking about during the during the NBA combine. 
you know, we did all those interviews with teams. So I did about 20 interviews there. So with all that, is any idea of where you could go or is it just like? No idea. I, mean, I tried to figure it out. I learned just to let it go. Are you, re are you ready for the surprises of draft day? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm more than ready. I'm interested to see w what trades are going down and who's going where, and it's going to be an interesting day. I know you probably answered it, but just being here and with the thought of going on stage uh, and everything, is that all sunk in yet? Um, no, not really, man. This is this whole uh, process is. Um, you know, I'm just trying to enjoy it, and uh, you know, tomorrow is going to be something like I've never felt before.